Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to discuss about introduction and configuration of course policy in Pegasus. There are very smart people, those who are not subscribing and watching my content. Please do subscribe this channel. Let's get started in the topic. So cross origin resource sharing policy is nothing but course policy. So this particular policy define a method to enable browser and server to interact and determine whether it is safe to allow a cross origin request. So for example, if we have a client who is using Pega marketing application and it is running on a browser, we can see many advertisements from third parties. If any on one of the user click on those advertisement, these cause policies will record that particular advertisement uh, was viewed or clicked on it. The purpose is to enable cross domain request and is only applicable for cross domain browser request. So only browser requests are captured here, which are like from other websites. And normally in Java or a particular uh, server and configuration if we have a request we can't record that but in pega the course policy is applicable only for rest service request only so if we have a cross uh, domain request from other source like a uh, server side or some javascript like that then we can't record that uh, request only rest service integration that is available in pega with help of that only we can record the respective request now how to implement this course policy request so we have to define course policy rule that is first part second part is we have to map this particular course policy with this endpoint url like we have to specify in some place that this particular course policy rule that we have defined is associated with an endpoint url of a REST service that we have configured in our application. Next, where to create this particular cross origin resource sharing? Okay, suppose we have a Pega environment. In Records Explorer, if you go to security, you have this cross origin resource sharing. This is nothing but cross policy that we are talking about. And these are OTB instances that are given by Pega product. So for our understanding, I have created a particular uh, rule. You can see policy definition history, only two tabs over here. And I will be explaining what are the different combinations we can give in this particular course policy. First of all, to do these changes, you should have a privilege call as PZ can manage security policies. If you don't have the security privilege under Pega system administrator access group, then uh, in that security administrator access group, if you don't have this privilege, you can't do any changes for this particular privilege. Let's go and see one by one. This allow credentials. Allow credentials is a checkbox. So if you check this checkbox, then we are telling that the endpoint can have credentials to pass in the request. Next is allowed origins. So suppose you want to limit uh, to some website, like only from this website, we have to allow a request. Then you can specify that uh, request like this. Okay. Suppose if you want to allow all the requests from this domain, then you can give like this star dot hello.com so from this uh, domain we will get all the requests like all the requests will be allowed so you don't want to differentiate with a domain or you don't want to differentiate with a website then you can give star suppose you want do you don't want to allow any cross origin request just you can give a blank like uh, this all this you can delete So this would be blank. If it is blank means we are specifying that you should not be uh, allowing a cross origin request for your uh, service rest. Next one is maximum age. 
so in this maximum age uh, so it indicates like how long the pre flight request can be catched so you got a request uh, for some case information or something uh, for 600 seconds you have hold that particular request in the catchy so in this between 600 uh, seconds if another request has come so it won't be catched for that purpose we would be defining this maximum age and what are the allowed methods you know that our rest uh, service or connectors we have different methods like get post put patch delete so what are the methods you are allowing as per this course policy those only you can do check of this and you can save your rule allowed headers allowed so headers is like a comma separator list of request headers that uh, can be sent to this api means our uh, service rest uh, default then we have like authorization content type these are the uh, default allowed headers and exposed headers exposed headers is uh, again comma separator list of response headers from of this api can access so this also we can specify with a comma separated uh, list of response headers next we have defined cause policy as per our first step now how to link that this particular service rest is associated with a cause policy for that purpose we need to go to pega configure integration services endpoint course policy mapping rule okay now you click on this you can see a list of already existing uh, endpoint apis we have here if you see endpoint is star hello all origins so it was refined by pega itself now if you want to add click add endpoint you can specify the endpoint that you want to track this course policy or restrict uh, this mapping rule you would be giving a valid url over here then you click add policy you can see that our policy that we have defined is over here for example now i am giving star submit so you can't uh, define same policy uh, like you can't add another instance for a same url suppose if you want to add here if you go to settings you can give add policy and here you can give that particular restriction over here see you can see what are the cost policies defined for this star okay if you want to remove this uh, respective cost policy from this endpoint url you can do this change and click submit so in this way uh, this course policy mapping can be done and can be associated with a service rest uh, url in next video we can see live implementation of this hope you have learned a new concept and i would be providing two more links where you can go through those uh, pegapedian links and you can understand in more precise way about this course policy mapping thanks for watching this video thanks for watching this video please click on bell icon so you can't uh, miss any one of the video from this channel please share comment and like and give your suggestions in the comments of the video